My name is Tim Walker, Senior Product Manager at AJA Video Systems. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the new FSHDR Color Front Engine TV mode from AJA. FSHDR offers two modes for comprehensive, high dynamic range and wide color gamut conversion and signal processing. Single channel mode provides a full suite of UHD processing and up-down cross conversion to and from HD or SD. Four channel mode offers four HD channels of simultaneous processing and conversion. Three transform modes provide the ultimate choice for workflow and creative needs. The color front engine, BBC HLG LUTs, or user LUTs. Focusing on the color front engine, the color front engine was designed by color front's Academy Award winning CTO, Bill Feitner, and Academy Award winning lead engineer, Tomasz Perlaki. It provides real-time wide color gamut, high dynamic range, high frame rate, and high resolution processing in the FSHDR. The engine focuses on three main principles, processing based on the human perception model, perceptually optimized color volume remapping, and preservation of the original creative intent. The color front engine is not simply a set of conversion equations, but a picture processor based on a model of the human visual system and how it interprets the overall picture context, especially skin tones. Now let's take a look at the new color front engine TV mode offered for free with the FSHDR version 4.0 firmware. We understand that there's a lot of effort put in to produce a show in HDR only to have a small percentage of viewers actually see it. This means that your SDR deliverable is extremely important for the larger viewing audience, and so I pose the question, shouldn't your SDR deliverable benefit from all the effort put into your HDR production? And the answer is yes. The answer is the new Color Front Engine TV mode. In figure one, we can see an HLG test pattern in a waveform where we'll focus on the diagonal line in the waveform representing the Luma ramp. In figure two, we have the output of the color front engine TV mode in its default state, which adheres to the BT2408 guidelines for HLG to SDR conversion. In figure three, we have the same HLG to SDR conversion, but after using the new parametric controls available in TV mode for knee point and knee slope. Using these new controls, you can compress highlights and produce a managed roll off with proper gamut remapping utilizing the color front engine's perceptual processor. You can see the grayscale in the Luma ramp has been recovered and the colors have been properly remapped. A perceptual transform integrates the various human perceptual phenomena into a model or perceptually linear transform space. Unique to the FSHDR color front engine TV mode, transforms are calculated in this perceptual space. Dynamic range, surround illumination, color volume, perceived saturation, and perceived hue are all accounted for. The engine converts SDR to HDR, HDR to HDR, HDR to SDR, and SDR to HDR to SDR, which is round tripping. As we know how important round tripping is for making sure branded colors appear the same from SDR conversions into HDR and then back to SDR. It has a simple and easy to use interface to quickly get up and running. Within that interface are controls for knee point and knee slope for highlight and roll off management, a color corrector, and camera correction controls for scene referred adjustments. All in all, the Color Front Engine TV mode maintains the creative intent or look of the original video by maintaining the critical relationships between colors and tone scales across all deliverables. When looking at an HLG to SDR conversion, you can choose to leave the engine in its default state. This follows the BT2408 guidelines and the image looks great as seen on the left, and it does have its uses, but the image could look better. Anything above 203 nits is clipped, causing minor hue shifts and the area around the sun is too bright where detail is lost. Looking at the image on the right, this is the same HLG to SDR conversion, but with the knee point and knee slope controls applied. 
As you can see, we've been able to use more of the data in the HLG image to make a stunning SDR image. We compressed the highlights in the bright areas where we were able to recover color and detail, all the while maintaining the artistic intent of the original image. This truly enables you to get more out of your HDR production and into your SDR deliverable. The Colorfront Engine TV mode provides specific conversions and simplified controls for highlight and roll-off management in live television broadcast productions. This shows the simple control interface in the Colorfront Engine TV mode menu and an example of using the HLG test pattern and only applying the knee point and knee slope controls. You adjust the knee point to set the start of the roll-off and gamut remapping, but you won't see a change until you adjust the slope. And generally, you move the point in the positive direction, which moves the knee point higher. Next, adjust the knee slope in the negative direction to compress the highlights. Manage the roll-off and set your desired clip point. It's that simple. We also know there are a lot of SDR sources that need to be converted into your production format. SDR graphics, inserts, replays, and specialty cameras. The Color Front Engine uses conversion algorithms based on the human visual system that provide better SDR to HLG color transformation, improving the overall look of SDR sources used in your HLG production. On the left, we see 100% SDR bars and the Color Front Engine transforming SDR to HLG that meets the BT2408 guidelines where 100% white maps to 203 nets. This is great for SDR graphics or inserts where you need to maintain color fidelity. It is a direct mapping of SDR to HLG. On the right, we see the same 100% SDR bars and the color front engine transforming SDR to HLG, but this time with the knee controls applied to expand highlights to 1000 nets and colors expanded into BT2020 color space where the gamut has been properly remapped to maintain proper hues and color relationships. This is great for upconverting SDR cameras into HLG and how you get more out of your SDR sources and into your HDR production. To protect and maintain color fidelity of SDR brand colors used in graphics or in camera, the combination of SDR to HLG and HLG to SDR transforms using the Color Front Engine TV mode provides the necessary round tripping capabilities. This shows the simple control interface in the Color Front Engine TV mode menu and an example of using 100% SDR bars test pattern and only applying the knee point and knee slope controls. You adjust the knee point to set the start of the gamut remap, though you won't see a change until you adjust the slope, and generally, for the best results, you can leave the knee point around zero and only adjust the slope. Next, adjust the knee slope in the positive direction to expand highlights beyond 203 nits and expand colors into the BT2020 color space. It's that simple. The streamlined user interface provides a simple drop down selection of the desired conversion from this to that including SDR, HLG, and PQ. The new knee point and knee slope controls are quickly accessible for last minute adjustments. And as always, you have a color corrector and camera corrector controls available. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the new Color Front Engine TV mode now available in FSHDR.